Instagram on the shoes in Miami, just get with that mic that part that dream you're talking about is really a reality that, that in Miami is spinning. Oh yeah, I think they're available today. You know, the people that I don't know how the system works, but first in line online within the area uh, can go pick them up today. So um, exciting time that you know the world actually gets to see them and feel them in hand. Curious, obviously, Brad looking really good. Just mm -hmm. for you to see him not only practicing but, but doing all those things that he's capable of doing, knowing that's going to you know pay off. I'm game time to actually play. Exciting. Can't wait for the world to see. What, is, what are you seeing just what he's done in practice that makes you go, okay, he's, he's right where he needs to be? Um, just what he's been doing the past, what, 11, 12 years he's been in it. Um, making plays, uh, being a force offensively and defensively. Um, you know, I think what's next is just finding your wind, getting back into game shape, and you, know, you can only do that by getting on the floor. This is kind of a basic question, but as the guy who's kind of surveying the floor and looking to make the right play, how much does having a guy like him right now help that spacing and making it? I mean, you know, that's that's a simple question. Teams can't leave them. They know that, and that opens up a whole portion of the court. You know, whatever side he's on, you just know his man's going to be closer to him and not help him. What's the anticipation been like? Because obviously, you three have yet to play a game together. Um, you, know, you guys have been talking about it a lot, but how does it feel that that might be coming up here soon in the near future? Oh, I'm excited. You know, I'm just waiting on that time where. You know, we all get to go out there, and, and, and I'm just excited to see what it's going to be like. You know, how teams are going to adjust, and you know how we're going to build our chemistry and, and get closer, and you know, figure things out. Because you know, I think with all three of us out there, it'd be lineups where you can stagger it, where you know, at least two of us for sure, one of us are on the court at all times. One of the things that Kevin said after the Lakers game, what you said as well, they've been throwing crazy defense. Already without the three of you out there together, what do you anticipate they will attempt to do? You know, three of you out there. Uh, I mean, we can talk about it all day. You know what it's going to be. You know, it can. We all just have to wait and see. Um, I mean, obviously, we know we know the dynamic. You know, we know the the talents there. Uh, so we're just going to go out there and play our basketball. And, you know, we have 60 games left to see how teams adjust to it. One of the things that Nugget said earlier, like last week, he said, Bradley stop and start. It's back. He pauses and he bursts. This maybe how does that, you know, translate in terms of working with him too when he's had that ability to stop on a dime, get to another place, and then be able to find out and go shoot. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the nightmares that all coaches have trying to guard Brad and not only coaches, you know, the opposing players. I've been on the other side of it. You know, he can stop on a dime and get to his pull-up so fast. Um, but he's also played different roles. You know, I think the last couple years he was more of a facilitator. Um, and then a year before that he averaged 30 a game. So, you know, it just shows the versatility of, you know, what he can do. And, you know, he's just a, he's a problem. Are there certain areas defensively that you feel like you guys can still clean up. Yeah, a lot. Um, but just like offense, that comes with, you know, having a, a stable lineup and, you know, feeling the chemistry through through those five guys that are on the court. Um, so I think a product of a good team is teams that, you know, when you're under man, you still find ways to win. And, you know, you have a system defensively that, you know, no, no matter who whoever is in there, that, you know, you guys are all on the same page. And when you're operating with the ball uh, and pick and roll, what's it been like for you this year having Grace and Eric specifically, like one yeah. pass away, you know, where they can't help at the middle? Exactly. I mean, if they do, you know, those are guys that I trust to get it off quick and, you know, they're going to make a play. Um, Eric can shoot it to 30 feet out, and Grace not only can shoot it, he, he'll catch it and drive and be a force on the rim too. So. You know, for that to be our second, third, fourth option on the floor, you know, it's going to be a tough coverage for teams. So, does it make it a little bit easier since you guys are at home to try to get into that winning streak and get things rolling? Uh, yeah. I mean, we're here in our facility every day. Uh, we have all the resources to, you know, remain healthy and get your treatment in and get your work in. So, it's definitely not a time to get comfortable. 
um, around the holidays. I think this is an important time of the season to get back on track and even with guys out in this next game or two, still trying to find ways to, you know, take care of these that we need to. What's it been like seeing a guy like Tuesday meant to take advantage of his opportunity with guys down with injury, but a guy like him stepping up? Yeah, it's important. You know, that's the name of the game. That's, you know, a lot of players, I know mine, my intro to the league is, you know, getting those opportunities and taking advantage of it. So, you know, those guys have been working hard all year and not getting those chances. and. Staying after practice late and coming in early to, you know, stay in shape and be ready for it. Just whatever book said, that's what I got to say. <laughs> Is that enough? Good? We go with that? <laughs> All right. Full participant again? Look good. No, Kevin did not uh, participate, uh, nor did Grayson. Or Nas. Um, Concussion protocol, and he has an orbital fracture as well. Orbital fracture. Yeah. So he'll be in a mask when he returns. Because it was because that, that tumble he took with McGee, I was thinking, okay, he get up, and then the two possessions went by, and he didn't. That made me believe that. Did so y'all think it was that serious though? Like, uh, Judging by his reaction, I did. You know, I mean, looking at the, the actual contact, I, I wasn't sure. Um, but just seeing how he reacted, you could tell something was up. Do you think you have Kevin back Don't know. Don't know yet. Uh, there are all possibilities, uh, but it's too early to tell. Uh, possible, but too early to tell. Each day, each day he works, you know, they monitor the response to it, and then we'll see where we're at. No, Grayson and KD did not uh, practice. Just light, light shooting. We, we've talked about being able to take advantage of this practice time. What, what do you feel like you guys are able to emphasize during this time? Have a couple days off in between games. Be better with our defense. The defensive emphasis today. Um, a bit of an edgy practice because we're you know, we're letting opportunities slip away. And we lost four out of five and. You know, our, our uh, defensive execution, toughness, intelligence, effort, physicality, uh, game, plan, game plan discipline, scheme discipline, all can be better. And we're losing possessions because of it, and we're losing games because of it. So it's got to be better. I guess our level, uh, I guess any level of concern at all, that you know, a quarter way through the season and yet to have everyone healthy to develop that identity defensively that you're known uh, out of my control, you know, um, you, you make the best of, of uh, your situ situation from an injury standpoint. And there's a silver lining in it, you know what I mean? Not having uh, your main guys in there gives you extended look at, at the other guys. And it extended minutes, not, not, not just the evaluation, but for those guys to get minutes and be able to be coached, you know, through their mistakes or their integration into our system, you know, I think there's, uh, there's big value in that. Uh, so highlight the positives. What stood out to you about the way Brad has kind of approached these last month or so with the rehab and everything? Well, he's working. He's working his tail off to get back. You know, I think uh, everybody needs to understand that, you know, that he hasn't been in there, but his, his care factor has been super high, um, not just with, you know, his own work, uh, but, you know, being engaged in what we're doing as a team, film sessions, you know, all those types of things. And, um, you know, he's got his work his tail off to get back. What kind of stuff can he add, on the, or does he maybe add on the bench in terms of during timeouts, stuff that he sees, and kind of maybe coaching a little bit yeah, too? Well, he's, uh, you know, he's an experienced vet, you know, so he's he's seen it all, especially uh, you know with uh, with with Kevin and Book, you know, being, having been another guy that you know commands double teams uh, as frequently as he has. Um, there's a lot to add. What was it like um, just to practice today? We could hear it, we couldn't <coughs> see it, but it seemed like to get pretty loud. The energy out there. Yeah, well, it was a little bit edgy. We've lost four out of five. I'm not happy with uh, losing four out of five in any circumstance, you know, when you uh, have guys out or not. You know, we have to play better uh, as a group on both sides of the wall, but in particular on defense. I know you would want to go to take more pull-up threes this year. They haven't quite been there in the last handful of games. Is that maybe just a product of the options around him that he doesn't have it? Yeah, but he's got to look for it more, too. You know, we've talked about that actually today. You know, um, you know, there's the shots I want him to look for. Um, 
And he's, you know, it's a recognition thing, but it's also, you know, trying to be in attack mode, which I don't want to pull away from him. You know, I like him being in attack mode, you know, uh, hitting the paint and making good decisions. How do you like his adjustment to, you know, for the most part in his career, he's played the full first quarter, and now it's been more methodical. Yeah, I mean, that's been, a, that's fluid still. You know, how, how we're going to use him in, in his rotation. It, it began as the minutes restriction and, you know, being smart with his return to play. And then we won seven straight, you know, so then it's like, let's not rock the boat with where we're at with that. Um, but Kev's been in our lineup. Uh, Brad's, you know, returning soon, hopefully. You know, so that will all be fluid. Coach, you've been on veteran-led teams like this team and teams that are up and coming. When you go through a stretch like this, are you more like hands-on with the veteran-led team, or how, how is your approach for veteran teams just up uh, I would practice more with an upcoming team, you know, and um, longer practices and more detailed work, more stopping and teaching. Um, I think there's still some of that here, but I'm very cognizant of you know, not not overworking their legs, you know, and overworking uh, you know, the on court stuff, you know. So it's probably uh, maybe more of a mental approach too, you know, um, with a veteran group. When you look at just all that thing. Have the shooters around Kevin, Brad, Kevin gets back. How much of it will be how well they defend that will determine who plays? Because if guys go off and shoot, then you can't be able to guard on the other. I'm just wondering how much they're valuing that part. Yeah, it's, it's really both. You know what I mean? You got to you got to factor in both pieces. You know, we need guys that can get stops and give us a defensive disposition. And you need, you need guys to knock down shots. You need, your, you need your defenders to make shots. You need your shooters to, to, to guard at a high level. You know, and um, and both can happen. You know, what I mean, you don't have to, to be in a you know elite physical defensive talent to be in the right spot. You know, and um, you know you don't have to um, you know to be an elite shooter to be effective offensively. You know what I mean? You got to make you got to make your open shots, and you got to understand your cutting opportunities. And, Screening opportunities. Good. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was it like to play against your former team and then have a, uh, have a solid game? Uh, it was good. It was good. Obviously, uh, wanted to come out with the W. Um, they're a good team. Um, I think they uh, kind of taught us a lot about ourselves. So um, it's always good to face good competition. When you say taught you about yourself, what, what do you mean? Like maybe can you explain that? Yeah, I think we just, um, you know. Our transition defense wasn't where it was supposed to be at last game, and um, you know that was kind of one of the points that we that we kind of talked about today uh, in our film session. So um, yeah, they were they were getting out and running, and uh, we weren't doing a good job of uh, containing them um, in transition. How have you managed, handle whatever word you want to put on it? The season gone for you. Play stretch, don't play. Yeah. Play stretch. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, unfortunately, that's kind of been the. How my career has gone over six years, um, so I kind of know how to keep myself ready. Um, I'm in here every day um, with my, you know, the guys, the coaching associates, um, the guys in the video room, and um, they help me stay ready. Um, I can't give enough credit to those guys. You know, I'm in here early in the mornings and they're right here with me. Off days, um, you know, travel days, early in the morning, uh, they're here with me. So um, I kind of just I have my routine and I and I try to stick to it. Um, I know how to keep myself ready. So. Um, it's tough. I won't lie. Um, but you know, I, I I like I like being here. I love coming to the gym. Um, and you know, being around these guys, they've made it they've made it you know easy for me. Um, because I've been in situations where it wasn't it wasn't as easy to come to the gym, and um, it wasn't it was I didn't have that joy. So uh, it's been fun this year. Um, obviously, you know. There's been a couple guys in and out of the rotation and all that stuff, so I know once we get our full team back, that I, you know, you know, the season's gonna start rolling the way we wanted to. To your point about having guys in and out, how difficult has it been to kind of evaluate where you guys are? Yeah, team? it's tough. Uh, you know, not to use it as an excuse, but obviously, um, you know, when you're going game to game, you know, you don't really know who's gonna be playing, who's gonna, who's not playing. So um, I think I think we've kind of done a good job of, um, you know having some some sort of rollover as far as just 
um, continuity uh, with certain things. So, like I said, once everybody gets back, we'll really, we'll really be able to gauge where we're at. I'm curious, who has kind of stepped up as vocal leaders for you guys in the first quarter of the season? Yeah, I think it's kind of been a little bit of everybody. Um, obviously, we got a pretty veteran team, so I think guys know what to expect and know what's supposed to be happening out there. And I feel like guy, everybody's kind of contributed in their own way. Yep. Thanks, Mazzy. Yep. Thanks.